everybody. Today I'm going to show you another fruits, which you might, some of you might see them before, or you might see it in the grocery store or somewhere. Let's see. This is the fruit. This fruit. I show you here. This one is a tamarind. What? I forgot the name. Tamarind. Yeah. Uh, they have many more, but I uh, I use uh, half of them. They have two different types of tamarind. One is a uh, sweet, and that one is sour. This one is sour because I bought it for to cook hot and sour soup. So I use the sour one. Here you can see. <laughs> uh, fresh tamarind, tamarindo fresco. And this one, mayo. And um, like I told you, they have another different one. It's a sweet. They call it the fresh tamarind sweet. But this one sour because I need it for the to cook hot and sour soup. So that's that's very good. It's a very sour. The last time I cooked about five gallon, uh, no, five liters um water with four of them. It's uh, still sour, but if you want kind of more more sour, it's about about three uh, liters with four four tamarind. It's a uh, sour. Or oh, one for one liter. Of water, so, uh, like I said, this is a, I I use half of them already. This one cost me about four dollar, and um, I can keep this uh, as long as I can. It's no problem. You see, it's inside here. It's just dry. Let uh, me wrap one for you to see. Okay, let's wrap this one. But. Uh, First one again, if you eat that, um, don't drink water right after eat them because it might make you uh, run to the bathroom soon. You have to take a little lot of time to, before drinking water. In, in the back in so many countries, like in Southeast Asia country, if in the summer, people, they... Um, Really allow kids to eat the um, tamarind, anything uh, uh, have the sour taste because the water system there is not great. That time was not great that time, so they um, easy gun run uh, bottom. So that they ban not allow kids eat them. Uh, any fruits is kind of sour in in the summer. Because kids usually they eat and they want to drink water and then they run to bathroom. Diarrhea. Mm. It's really sour. Ah. Mm. Hmm. That's it. Yeah. It sounds like lambs. Okay. You want to try more? No, try more. <laughs> Me? No. No more. It's sour. Oh, sour. So, uh, you need to... Okay, this... Salt. Can control the sour so level down, so that's make you easy for you for well, easy for you to eat. <laughs> Too much. Too. Hmm.
Mm, it tastes more. It tastes better with salt. It's not sour too many too much sour. One more. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. I know. That's enough for me. Um, right now, when I was a kid, um, a while later, I love to eat this. But when now I'm kind of older, I don't know. My body uh, doesn't like it. Mm, much. But when you cook, um, you make some hot sauce soup. Um, Vietnamese hot sauce soup. That's, that's a good one. Or you will uh, there some uh, desserts. You need some uh, something sour. Uh, that's great. Be uh, that's easy for you. You just uh, peel the skin and uh, play them in the small bowl at the hot water, and, and you smash them. You be um, and then extract to just to extract to get on the water, um, and then you combine with your ingredients, and then make the, your desserts. Okay, or something. That's great because uh, this the sour is different uh, with the vinegar, uh, different with the lambs. So if you have uh, never tried it, hmm, probably you need to try the some. Uh, I don't think they sell. Uh, yeah, I think they sell by pound. You can buy buy uh, one and try and see how does it taste. Mm. I bought this, it's a $4 and then I use how them see 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, probably I got 20 of them. Yeah, I think that's enough. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try one more. Mm. 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 This is one pound. Oh, they said you have to keep uh, in uh, refrigerated. Keep uh, refrigerated sterilization for the better quality. But I kept it in room temperature for uh, two months already. Two months this way. Then. No, it's more than two months. Yeah, this is still great. And uh, that's it. That's the only thing on the label to show you me. That's that's all. Uh, thank you for watching. That's a, oh um you can make the candy with the tamarind candy by using this, or you can make the drink tamarind drink with this. Uh, how 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 to do it? I don't know. I have never done it, but I know you can. <laughs> You can use them to make the candy or a uh, drink like a tamarind, tamarind drink or candy, uh, excuse me, uh, tamarind candy. What else? Yep. Yeah. If there, there are many different types of uh, tamarind candy. So, uh, another one is that when it's fresh, they peel out the skin and they use uh, the needle. To ping, 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 ping around the um, um, the tamarind, the uh, unskinned tamarind, and then they um, they salt it in the some kind of solution. I think a uh, soft water. So later on, they had they, they remove out and they mix with the sugar. They do sun dry and then they bring in the um, simmer, simmer until the um, tamarind absorb all the sugar in the water and that's another type of uh, uh, that's that's not the candy I think that's you can call it dessert not the candy so and so they have a tamarind drink tamarind candy tamarind desserts and you can use the tamarind to make hot and sour soup tamarind for uh, like uh, uh, increase for some kind of cake, uh, yeah. Or um, uh, jello. You make a jello. You put the little uh, some 
some of uh, tamarind juice and then make your uh, jelly taste softer and that's that's all I know about um, here what you can use with the uh, tamarind for. Um, okay, thank you for watching. If I I have a chance to make those, uh, we'll show you. But like I'm kind of lazy, so I don't know when I'm going to make them. So I'm not promised the timing, but I know one day I will share you with all you about it. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye-bye.